knives to your contractors. It's a phenomenal add-on sale. And then also, too, remind your contractors, don't throw your empty fives out. Make sure that you go ahead and clean them out and keep them because you're going to need them. All right. We've got the unit hooked up. We've got power. We've got uh, two on-off switches on this sprayer. On-off switch number one, all that's doing is, and you can see the light turn on, you now have power to the board. On-off switch number two is going to be right here, your pressure control. But in order to flush the pump, we need to have this valve in the right position. This valve's the prime valve and that's going to recirculate and chase out all the grease into the slop pail. We're not going to the main line yet. We're just going to go right to uh, the, the, the prime valve and out. So, just to get a little bit more technical, if you want to swing around over here now, I'll give you this little uh, show and tell. Okay? On these airless sprayers, you've got one intake into the pump, which is right here. This is where your water goes up, and you've got one outlet out of the pump, which is back over here. The fluid is then ran through this filter. Now, this is going to be like a traffic cop. When this valve is pointed straight down to the ground, it shuts the flow off to the main line. And then when we go into this position, then it's going to send it out to the lines. So this is a good way to remember it. And I, thought, I was taught this over 30 years. 33 years ago, I was taught this little trick. Watch the valve. If the arrow's pointing down to the ground, you're sending fluid back down into the pail. When the valve is in this position, you're sending material out to the lines. It's a real neat way to know whether or not a sprayer's under pressure or not. Make sense, everyone? Yes. Okay, what we'll do now is we're going to go ahead and just turn up the pressure and we're going to engage the pump and you'll see the packing grease go into the uh, into the blue pail. You can see the water and the grease in there. The grease is in the pickup tube, the pump, and the manifold, and all your hose. And another thing too, whenever you've got a contractor that comes into your store and says, I want a 50 foot section of hose, okay? The hose and his, his sprayer is six years old. You still have to get the white lithium grease out of the hose. So this, when he puts a new section of hose on, gotta flush it. Because if that white lithium grease mixes with your paint, you're going to have tip clogs, you're going to have a whole host of problems. The water and the grease aren't mixing, one's pushing the other out. So watch what happens now when I go ahead and flip this into the spray position. It's going to pressure right up. what we do here that was not planned this was uh, probably done at a product demonstration of some sort or at a pro show and, wasn't paint. and this wasn't Red paint this wasn't tight so it's always uh, always always a, a, a good uh, step necessary step run water through your sprayers make sure all your connections are good and tight what if that was paint what if we were on somebody's driveway so, we've been throwing down. We're going to go ahead and reprime. Well, what? Let's do this first. We're going to open up this reel, and we're going to go ahead and bring our hose out. Fancy hose. Pocket on a t-shirt. Yeah, but it's here. Three ninety does that. Okay, we're gonna take this tip and base off because we're gonna spray with this tip extension. Source always tells his contractors to put like dish soap in there. Not a bad call. 
because you know what this soap is? It's a degreasing detergent. Yeah. You know what another good one is? Simple Green. Simple Green's fabulous for flush and pumps. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this tip extension on. And when you use put these, these types of extensions on, remember it's not hand tight. You've got to go ahead and wrench it down. That's the new handle, right? Yeah, this is the new gun. You'll get a chance to work with it. Okay, let's try again, everybody. How do we know that it's okay to go ahead and pull that prime valve down? Let's bleed pressure into the, just, just check. Nope, no pressure. Let's fix this. There we go. Let's go ahead and reprime. the tip and base on yet we're gonna go right into the slop pail and we may not be How do we bleed pressure in the sprayer? What we do, we don't go ahead and move that valve. Three steps. Step one, turn the pressure down. Step two, bleed into the pail. Step three, move this straight down. Everybody, make sense to everyone? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring the paint on board and we're gonna start spraying. Okay, so it doesn't take long at all to get this unit up and running. Hey, Source, yes, sir. where do we want to start spraying out of? Which five? Tell us where. Yeah, I'd probably get that full one you brought, Brian. All right. That one over there. 